This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, but this time we're in somewhere different. We are in a new place, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I actually really like this software. Uh, it seems to be operating at a pretty, pretty good capacity. Uh, for being able to comprehend play structuring and things like that. Uh, it's a fantastic software. I love the fact that this UI is scalable as well. Um, I do not like that you have a hard capped, uh, it seems, I don't know if it gives you seconds back or not, but it seems like there's a hard cap for your turn structure to be six minutes, and the only format they have is match format, it seems. Uh, so there's things like that that cause slight issue that I have with uh, with the software, but regardless, uh, there's plenty of things that are good about it to outweigh those slightly questionable things. But so I'm playing World Chalice, as you can see. Uh, don't have a lot of time to really uh, to go over play structuring that I'm doing, which is a bit unfortunate because I basically have to play uh, like as fast as I possibly can. Um, do I want a special uh, another one? No, I'll save this for when I'm doing Din Girsu. Uh, but so I want to summon Lee, and I want to summon a Beckend. Uh, Beckend will be here, and Lee will be here. Uh, and then, what is this? Yes, special. So this gets to add, uh, I'll add World Chalice Guard Dragon to my hand, just because I already have the other Beckend. Uh, and then from here, these get to go into, I think I summoned these in, this in the wrong place. I very much did. Uh, but it's okay, because what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to make the Imduk here. And the Imduk will be made with this. We'll make the Imduk over here. And I'll be able to go with these into my uh, Eeb somewhere. Yeah, I legitimately put these in reverse order from where they need to be. Uh, so that's a problem. Uh, but I could always change that with Orem. So I probably will have to. Uh, I, 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 what do I have access to? I need to make the, uh, I need to make the Lee. Honestly. Honestly, I need to make the Lee. Or, not the Lee, the, uh, the Eeb. The Eeb is what we're talking about here. Uh, but, so I'll have to do it with this and this. <laughs> and I'll have to do it here. <laughs> That's so shitty. Uh, special? Yes. Um, I'll do this just so I can make another, uh, I'll make the Emerald. And then I'll be able to, I'll be able to make the emerald. Then I'll be able to make another, uh, another Eeb, essentially, because of the way that uh, this deck operates. So I didn't really lose anything. It's just gonna make it really weird for how stuff needs to function. But so activate this. I will shuffle back my three. But yeah, as you can see, this timer is still just ticking down, and it's making things really hard on me. Uh, but so we'll put back the three shine balls. Draw a card. And then we'll be good to go from there. Uh, that's a Gamma Seal. That's actually really good. Uh, it's very good. But I'm going to be able to draw multiple cards here. So that's fine. So we'll summon this here. We'll activate this again. And summon the Shine Ball in the only zone that's left open. I'm not really giving too much insightful commentary, I don't think. But it's kind of unavoidable because of the fact that I have to rush uh, how this is going. So we'll summon the, the, uh, the Eeb over here. And then I can activate this to uh, to do my to do my stuff. But so I'll summon this shine ball here. Uh, I'm going to make proxy dragon out of these. I'll be able to get a brilliant fusion to add a card back regardless. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make uh, going to make proxy dragon here with these two, uh, and then I can use Eve and special summon. Uh, so that's going to be fine. Uh, or I could just, I can, I'm actually just gonna make Proxy Dragon, and then make Link Spider, because I've got way too many things that I can actually just utilize. Um, nah, I'm just gonna do it this way. I lied. I'm gonna do it like this, because uh, I can get rid of this and I can get rid of this, and I'm going to use them, one of them as a as a two, and then Eve will chain. I'll be able to summon the World Chalice Guard Dragon out of my hand and put it here. I still have about three minutes left. I've got a Lee and this and this. Okay, so didn't get access to my field spell, which is kind of irritating, but at the same time, 
kind of okay. I can still maybe generate another draw out of it, but... So I'll send Lazuli to Grave, and I'll send another Venus from my deck to Grave to summon this. And then the Lazuli can trigger to add back Beckoned. And now I can make these into a Firewall Dragon, and I can start going off. So we'll Special Summon Firewall Dragon with this, and then in Gearsu, put Firewall Dragon here. Uh, the Ningirsu's effect will trigger, sure. Uh, and then I will special summon... I can special summon this from my hand. I want to keep this so I can do another Digesto Emerald. So I will special summon this, the World Legacy World Chalice from my hand. I can make another Firewall Dragon. Now I'll make it with these cards. I'll put it here. Uh, and then Aurum's effect can trigger... Um, I don't want to trigger Orum's effect, no. Uh, I do want to trigger Firewall Dragon's effect, because I want to uh, I want to summon this Garnet from my hand here. And then what I can do is I can then use it and go into another card, like the Gaia Saber. Uh, I can go into the Gaia Saber with the Eeb. I can do a few different things. Um, but I'm going to go into a Link Spider here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna extra link. I'm running out of time. I still got a minute left, uh, but this this thing's hard turn counter is kind of annoying to a degree. Uh, but so I will special here, uh, and I'll use it to summon this beckoned, and I can use these to go into a Gaia Saber, which I will. I can special summon this go into Gaia Saber here, because I've got a monster in my hand. The Firewall Dragon's effects will trigger. So that's fine. Uh, yes, I will trigger Eeb. Uh, I will trigger the Firewall Dragon as well. <laughs> I'll trigger the Firewall Dragon as well. Um, I'll make it uh, chain like one, two, and three. And then I should also be able to chain this Firewall Dragon's effect. And I'm going to put back the Emerald. I'm going to put a Beckoned back in my hand. And that'll be great from there, uh, because then the Beckoned will be able to be summoned, and I'll be able to make another Digesto Emerald, draw another card, and then go uh, go from there. Uh, because this can add a normal to my hand. Uh, I could summon a normal off the Digesto Emerald. There's a few different things that I have access to. Uh, but So I'm going to summon it over here, because this firewall is used. I could summon something over here, so that's fine. Um, but this will shuffle back three. I'm gonna shuffle back the Eeb. I'm gonna shuffle back the Proxy Dragon, and I'm gonna shuffle back the Ningirsu. Just three cards into the extra deck just to try and draw a card. Um, and so that's another Kaiju. So I'm not drawing the field spell, which kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time, it's perfectly reasonable and perfectly acceptable. Uh, I just have to hope that he doesn't have a board wipe. That's the only way I can lose. Um, no, put it here, and then summon the Link Spider, come on. Playing out the entirety of my turn. Come on, <laughs> there you go. And then special, yes, um, I will just special this, the Humongous here, just so that I can't get kaiju if my opponent does have a kaiju. And then I will end my turn with seven seconds left. <laughs> it takes so long to play this deck out, but you have to be so concise. This is so stressful playing this on uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. I've got to put it on my opponent. Better have it. You better have a board wipe. Um, but this Firewall Dragon is loaded. This can bounce two cards, so this is fine. Uh, I don't have an Eeb on the board, which is kind of irritating, but, I mean, like, I'm controlling all of the monster card zones, and I have a Kaiju on the field, so if my opponent has a Kaiju, then that's not going to be something that they can do uh, to out my board or existence. Uh, but the thing is that I'm going to have to, like, uh, I'm going to have to, like, hold down A or hold down left click or something, because if my opponent is, uh, is going to summon, like, Alternative Dragon, that's going to suck for me. Uh, but so he's doing this. I love this UI! This UI is so great. There's HD card images over here that's sizable. Like, you can make it whatever size you want, and it just stretches to fit. Uh, there's so much There's so much good about this. I love this program. Uh, it seems very smooth as well. Uh, it's it's kind of weird. Oh, Chaos Max Dragon. Whoo! Whoo! Chaos Max Dragon! That's kind of a problem. Um, if he summons this thing, uh, it can't be targeted by card effects, and this targets. 
<laughs> so, oops. Um, I'd have to deal with a, I'd have to deal with that with Ningirsu. That'd have to be the way that I would deal with that, because Ningirsu does not target. Uh, so if he summons Chaos Max Dragon, then I'm gonna have to turbo my way into Ningirsu, which is easy enough to do, um, as long as this Emerald survives. Emerald is the card that I want to make sure survives. Uh, advanced Ritual Art. He's gonna summon the Chaos Max. Uh, hopefully he just attacks one of the Link Spiders first, and then that's all that happens. <laughs> I would love for that to be the case. Uh, but he's sending a Blue Eyes from Deck to Grave, summoning his Chaos Max Dragon. Uh, that's the wrong kind of blue card. Uh, what? No, I don't want to do that effect now. I don't. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, no how. Um, the one card I don't want him to kill is I don't want him to kill this Digesto Emerald. Because if he does, that means I'm going to have to use Firewall Dragon to bounce it so that I can summon it again. And then it's going to be a hassle. Um, so, depending on what he attacks is going to determine what I do with this Firewall Dragon. But why am I even stressing about adding this Chaos Max Dragon? I've got a Gamma Seal in my hand. I'm actually stressing out for no reason. Um, there's actually zero reason why. Okay, so he's attacking the Firewall Dragon that has no effect left on it. Because this is the one that isn't used. Um, sure, you can have that one. You can take it. You can take it, my, my friend. Wrong Firewall Dragon. That's the one that used its effect already. This is the one that is still loaded. Um, and he's attacking that with the Manju which I am honestly okay with. I can just shuffle it back next turn. Uh, I'm only playing one World Chalice um, Guard Dragon, and that's kind of... Ooh! I can do this. Does this attack twice? No, it just does double piercing damage. Um, so I'm going to summon Lee the World Chalice Fairy here, and I'm going to get my search on this turn as well. Um, and then next turn I also get a search for... Um, Next turn, I also get a search for my uh, for my World Legacy's heart, because my World Legacy World Chalice is in Grave. Um, wow, really? So that was the extent of the play. I mean, it's Blue Eyes. It's a deck that doesn't really threaten as much as uh, as much as I would like to think that it does. But so I can Gamma Seal over this. Um, that's another Kaiju. Fantastic. I have Raigeki. This is easy. This seems like it might be easy. Uh, but so we'll activate this. And I will put back... Uh, I can add back Venus if I want. Uh, but I'm going to put back this. I'm going to put back the Firewall Dragon so that I can continually put the Emerald back. And then I'm going to put back uh, the second Eeb so that I can potentially make... Because I can make it, like, now. Um, so I'll put those back. If my opponent has a response, then, then got me. Uh, that's an Ash Blossom. That's really good. I can Raigeki here. Uh, I can Kaiju over this and then Raigeki. Uh, so I will. I will do just that. Uh, so I will Special Summon this to my opponent's side of the field. And then I will Raigeki in the Spell and Trap card zone. So those three cards will die. Unless this card is like Imperial Order. In which case I probably just win this turn. Because I can bounce with uh, Firewall Dragon. Pretty easily. Uh... I can bounce my Digasto Emerald. I can put it in the graveyard for a Link Summon and then bounce it with Firewall Dragon. Um, so there's there's quite a few potentialities that exist there. Oh, it's a Twin Twister. That's not real. That doesn't matter. I win. I win now. Um, no, I don't want to chain anything. In fact, I believe you'll find. Uh, but so I can go into I can go into my search here for this for World Legacy's Heart. And from there, I can activate it and add back two cards. So I'm going to add back Beckons and a World Legacy World Chalice, because, I mean, I guess I just can't add two of the same name, because that's what this card text says. And then I get to make Eeb. I can make another Firewall Dragon here, which is these two. There's so much, so many activities. I can make another Ningirsu, honestly. Or I can just attack for game. Uh... No need to overcomplicate shit when I can just attack the game. Uh, but so I'm going to do this and this and summon this here. And then I have the ability to normal summon this. Yeah, my opponent is just surrendering because I have game. I'm just trying to make like an Ingearsu draw and things like that. Uh, but so. Ah, yes. As I feared, this is match only. 
uh, which means I have to do some side decking, which means I might be breaking this up into separate videos, not sure, but at this point, uh, kind of okay with whatever happens, but so he's likely going first, so this order is not going to do anything. This can go in, uh, Valor is kind of okay against this deck, I think my deck is already pretty optimized for this matchup, uh, straight out of the gate. I want to take out one of these Kaijus, um, just because I want to draw the field spell, if anything. Well, actually, no. I want to take out one of these field spell cards. Uh, and I'm probably going to want to put these in. I don't know. We might have to see how that one flies. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a few different things. Uh, sometimes you can side down on certain copies of cards as well. Like, I could side down on Brilliant Fusion, take out a Garnet into Brilliant Fusion. I put, like, Cosmic Cyclones in. You know what? I think I'm less afraid of his board because I've got Kaijus. I'm more afraid of what his back row could offer. Uh, but so we'll do that, and uh, this is probably the done side decking button, I would imagine. I'm going to take out this other terraforming for the Cosmic Cyclone. I mean, if I draw the field spells, I draw the field spells. Um, that's basically going to be it. Because, like, those field spells are there so that you can draw them and so you can get kaiju counters on them and then summon the Gamma Seal or the Radian from your hand during your turn and be good combo enablers. Uh, there's things like that. But the kaiju count probably needs to be adjusted. Uh, Cumungus is also just another good kaiju, but at the same time uh, it could probably just be another Gamma Seal. This is just an experimental deck. I really like the concept of doing kaijus with the World Chalice cards because it just makes it really easy link summoning with them. Uh, but so we'll see what happens here. I might have to split this video up into multiple parts. Uh, I really hope I don't, but I want to keep my videos around the 10 minute mark. So there's that, but... Alright, so, game number two. Is my opponent letting me go first? He's letting me go first! Amazing! Alright, well then. Have at ye! I'll normal summon Venus. Hopefully I don't get Effect Veilered, uh, because this deck does play Effect Veiler. Uh, because it can. Ah, my opponent surrendered. Well then, I guess I don't have to do shit then. Fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, well anyway, I expect more videos in the future with Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. This is a fantastic software. I had the Kyoto Waterfront too, this is amazing. I had Lee, Transmodify, Venus, and I had a Radian, which meant my combo potential was literally through the roof. I was extra linking him, and then dropping Gamma Seal, and I was gonna have five counters on Kyoto Waterfront, so that's fantastically insane. But anyway... Expect more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 videos coming out. Uh, if you want to suggest decks for me to play, then definitely leave suggestions in the comments down below. Or, if you want to go the extra mile, send them to the email address and send a deck list to my email address that is in the description. And I'm more than likely to play a deck that's like that if it's, uh, if it's got suggestions and an actual deck list I don't have to go digging for attached to it. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like the video if you want to see more. Subscribe if you already haven't. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and personal Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway for significant amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product and stuff like that, so definitely go check that out if you are interested, as well as if you want to get access to my private Discord server. It's also another way to do that. But anyway, special thank you to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yugi Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You help out a lot more than you may know, and you have my eternal gratitude. But, like I already said, if you have anything you want to suggest me to play on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, now that I've got full link capabilities in my fingertips, essentially, uh, then definitely leave those in the comments down below, as I've already said. But as I've already said, as I've already said, as I've already said, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.